All right, guys. Well, you knew it had to happen. <laughs> it had to happen sooner or later. Yes, my uh, my annual uh, fall under the lawnmower. You're on. Uh, <laughs> what is it? It is a glorious, a gorgeous, absolutely over the top, beautiful spring evening. It is a, what is it? Is it a, I honestly do not know if it is a Wednesday or a Thursday night. It's a, I think it's Thursday, March 14th, 2024. Uh, have you seen that crescent moon? And who is the, who is the crescent moon dancing with in the heavens tonight? Uh, is that Jupiter? Uh, I'm not sure who the uh, crescent moon is up there having a tango with, but you need to go check it out if you have not. So anyway, guys, uh, I, I, I honestly don't know uh, if, the <laughs> if the raising of my ears ha has anything to do that I, I did this. When was it? Was it just yesterday I got this? Uh, I, I, I got my new my, my new look uh, and woke up this morning. I was up at 5:45 a.m. this morning and to start this day. And I, I did this video uh, as the sun was rising this morning, which I was going to put on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, but I decided to fuck with uh, people over at Collapse Chronicles who have no clue of who I am. So if, if you did not hear that video over there at Collapse Chronicles about the Carpe Diem Doomer, uh, that's kind of part one. Th th this is kind of part two, the follow-up to that video. Uh, how my day went today uh, that started, as I say, at 5.45 a.m. I was dragging myself out of bed before the sun rose. And... I don't know, guys. Is is it the uh, is it the 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 weight loss uh, hanging off the top of my head or whatever? But there was just some little germ uh, th this morning when when I was drinking my coffee and I was meeting. I was heading off to meet some folks to sign a real estate contract and to go to the title company and do all of this stuff and I did I just got a, a just a little taste of my old life uh, uh, of my pre doomer self you know a couple of times I just got these little twinges when, when I was driving around this morning doing this rant uh, and, 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 and it's, it's impossible to explain, uh, but bipolar people probably know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the opposite of depression. I, I could feel the, 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 this energy just rising, uh, from somewhere. It's this manic energy. And as, as I've joked before uh, about my bipolar uh, mental illness, that you know, instead of robbing a liquor store, I, I just go reactivate my real estate license and go out and make $100,000 a year for a couple of years. You know? and, and, and it was, it was the first time in probably since 2007 that I had this, I am going to eat this fucking day today. Uh, just a little twinge of it, uh, 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 of that, uh, you know, that damn feeling that you, that you get sometimes on mushrooms that, 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 uh, I, I just somehow knew today that, that it was going to be, I think, uh, 
Van Morrison has that song about uh, my mama told me there would be days like this. It, 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 it's like every fucking thing I touch today it just uh, it was turning into gold. It was like uh, I, I was King Hambone Midas. E even when I wasn't meaning to. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to bore you with all of my various real estate adventures, but uh, it, it, it was a good one. And, uh, you know, compared, it, it, it's not like, as I was telling one of my real estate investor buddies, you know, it, it's not like the olden days where, you, you know, I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's just, it's just chump change. Uh, on, uh, on on one level, it's just chump change. Uh, on on one level, but at the same time, it just feels fucking good. J j j just to walk out there uh, on a beautiful day, and and just say and just tell yourself, you know, I feel like going out there. And, uh, and, and, and picking up $20,000 uh, lying on the ground. It's lying on the fucking ground. There's $20,000 lying on the fucking ground, Hammond. Just get off your ass and go pick it up. I, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, well, it's not just me, me and my friends, but I, uh, a couple of my friends, but I very well... Uh, might, might have made uh, the three of us uh, $20,000 today. It, it depends, and it's not like we're going to get the $20,000 tomorrow. It, it, it's going to take a year or two for the seed uh, that, that I planted today, you, you, you know, to turn into the money. And, and, and then just in, in the middle of all of this day, with, with, with everything, <laughs> it was just this crazy fucking day. In, in the middle of this day, while I'm waiting for my real estate agent to get out of the dentist, I you know I had an hour to kill, so I call my buddy who's got a piece of vinyl siding. Ah, like like, dude, can I come out there and look at this piece of vinyl siding? I uh. uh <laughs> I, I haven't even told the story about putting the barbecue grill in front of Doomsday Trailer and melting the fucking front wall of the trailer. So anyway, I'm trying to patch up this job. So I go out there in the middle of all of this crazy shit. And to look at a fucking piece of old vinyl siding to fix where I melted Doomsday Trailer. And I get in the car in my buddy's truck and there's this little, there's a little bitty for sale by owner sign in his neighborhood. And, and I said, my God, I said, what do you know about this? Oh, yeah, my, and he tells me the whole fucking story. And, and, and my God, there's $20,000 fucking dollars lying on the ground. I, 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 I said, how much does that woman? And he goes, well... She's a friend of mine. Let me go in and talk to her. And we pull the fucking truck up. I just waited out in the truck. And he comes out there and he tells me that she is giving this place away for $40,000. And I said, and he goes, I said, dude, I said, do you understand that this woman is leaving $20,000 lying on the ground for anyone to come pick up? It just takes forty thousand dollars. You know, it's like betting on the, you know, betting on the favorite to show. It, 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 it is what we're talking about. It, it is betting two dollars to uh, win one dollar. Uh, well, I guess you know, betting two dollars to get a three, you know, to win three dollars to get a one dollar return. Uh, but but I I, I just uh, I, I just blew my wad. Uh, on this uh, other thing, if, uh, like three days ago, if I had seen this thing three fucking days ago, I wouldn't. Have, I probably wouldn't have bought the fucking one I just bought. But anyway, uh, but on top of all of this, uh, you, you know, I was meeting with my real estate, and I said, "You need to go get that goddamn uh, Fizbo listing." 
And, and I honestly believe, I honestly believe that in, that in the middle of making myself and my two friends several thousand dollars uh, in, in, in the past 12 hours, I actually m made somebody I have never met, I guarantee you, if she has the fucking brains to get this real estate agent, uh, she will put uh, you know, fifteen or sixteen thousand dollars more in her pocket, and the real estate agent, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get a nice little check. It, it, it's a win-win-win situation. Well, I guess the person who buys the lot uh, for sixty thousand dollars instead of forty thousand dollars, but it's probably going to be some fucking scumbag. Uh, real estate flipper, eh, fuck them. Uh, anyway, so I, you know, I want this woman to get it. So I honestly think that I made somebody I've never met. I've made her fifteen thousand dollars today. I, I, I've made my real estate agent a few thousand dollars today. I, I've made uh, two of my friends a bunch of money. I've made myself a bunch of money, and the thing about it, guys, is I, I have had nothing but fun the whole day. It, 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 it just, I absolutely love this shit. Uh, and, and as I was saying in my rant this morning on Collapse Chronicles, this is why we're fucked. Uh, it is it, because, uh, it, it, you know, people doing what I'm doing. Uh, but, but, but fuck it, you know, it, it just gave me a, a little bit of taste of my, uh, you know, uh, of my pre-Doomer years. I mean, it's, it, it's exactly this t-shirt. Here is this Doomer letting go of this butterfly, the, the, the skeleton uh, you know, I, I met this Doomer chick artist at this folk festival, and she has a great line of work. But, 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 but anyway, so I know exactly what, the, what this is saying. It, 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 it is taking this Doomer energy and, and, and releasing this butterfly, taking wing, leaving the hand of, of the Doomer, but then when you look, of course, uh, in, into the face of the butterfly, you see another skeleton. I, I mean, th th this Doomer chick, of course, uh, I'm in love with her. Uh, I, I met her for five minutes, and, and, and I said, darling, you fucking get it. And her response to me, she kind of smiled, and she said, there's a lot more of us out there than you realize was uh, people who fucking get this. Uh, letting the butterfly loose. But the butterfly has the seeds of its own destruction in it. Looking back at the doomer. Uh, and in, in uh, I, I, you know, I, I, you know, she was just, you know, when, when I was, when we were talking, it, you know, she was looking at me like, you actually understand what the fuck uh, that this t-shirt was all about, and, uh, you know, I've been thinking about, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big Leonard Cohen fan, I'm not that crazy about the, the, the song Bird on a Wire, but this one verse in here, I really think this verse, if, uh, I mean, what I know about Leonard Cohen, uh, you know, who has uh, suffered brutal depression uh, in, in, in his life, this song, Bird on a Wire, this one verse, it really encapsulates what Leonard Cohen uh, what well, 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 was fighting his whole life, and, 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 and I cannot think of a better verse to describe, you son of a bitch, this goddamn computer, it, it, it does this all the time, uh, 
Anyway, I, I mean, I can pretty much remember the line, but I, 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 I want to get it right, this goddamn computer. Anyway, we probably recognize this uh, verse. I saw a beggar leaning on his wooden crutch. He said to me, you must not ask for so much. And a pretty woman leaning in her darkened door she cried to me, hey, why not ask for more? And this is e exactly what this t-shirt is saying. It, 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 it is exactly uh, the struggle uh, that, that I have been having. Uh, it, it's, it, 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 you know, feeling guilty. Uh, you know, guilt tripping yourself that you're taking too much. But then you got the pretty girls going, why not ask for more? Uh, you know, uh, it's like, why am I fucking doing this to myself? Who do you want to fucking hang out with, Hamlin? Do you want to hang out with fucking beggars? Or do you want to hang out with the pretty girls? It, 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 it's the goddamn pretty girls. They want a man who says, hey, why not ask for more? And, and uh, it, it's unbelievable uh, how in my life, whenever I get into the headspace, hey, why not ask for more? That the pretty fucking girls start coming out of their darkened door, and, and and then when I you know when I go into this fucking doomer guilt trip, uh, you know that, that that I'm taking that I that I'm taking more than my fair share, I I, I end up hanging around with with, with, with fucking old beggars uh, on their crutches with, with toothless old men stranded without love. Uh, you know, I mean, look, look at the fucking payoff. Why, why the fuck have I been doing this to myself? You know, and, and, and you better believe that, you know, that Leonard Cohen, good God, uh, the, the, the pussy that, that that dude got. Can you imagine the fucking pussy that, that Leonard Cohen got and, and then he went, got all fucking freaked out, and he goes over there, shaves his goddamn head, uh, li, 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 you know, lives up there in that fucking Buddhist monastery at, at the top of a fucking mountain. He doesn't get any fucking pussy for, what was it, six or eight years? And he looked around, he woke up, and he said, fuck this! Fuck this! And, and he comes out with uh, I'm your, that, that album, uh, I'm Your Man, and, and everybody knows. I, I, think, or is, I, I think that I'm Your Man and Everybody Knows is on the same record, but it was around the same time. Uh, you know, this, this, this fucking, uh, you know, this dichotomy that, that he's talking about here. Uh, everybody knows we're fucked. Everybody knows uh, the good guy is lost. The fucking plague is coming. Uh, the captain lied. Uh, the fucking boat is going down. Everybody fucking knows it, and they want a long stem, stem rose and a box of fucking chocolates. And hell yeah. Hell yeah. And, 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 uh, and I, 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 why the fuck am I living like this? Why the f and, 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 and I And I actually like what's, you know, on one level what's created here, but you know what I say. Why the fuck am I living like this? It's it, it, it's just uh, it, 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 it's fucking criminal that that I have not been laid and, and I'm losing track now. Uh, let's see how many years it was. It was it was it, is it seven years? Seven fucking years 
that that I that that I've been doing this fucking doomer game, hanging around with fucking beggars uh, on, on, on their crutches. Uh, when I could have been hanging around the pretty girls uh, asking for more. Uh, you know, the pretty girls, they want the fucking long stem rose and the box of chocolates. It doesn't matter if they understand how fucked we are. Give me the fucking box of chocolates. Give me the long stem rose while this fucking ship is going down and, and we're waiting for the goddamn plague. Uh, you know, uh, fly off into the damn heavens. Get out there and enjoy it while you still can, is what this shirt is saying. And nobody understands this better than a fucking doomer. Uh, and, 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 you know, until you really understand that we are all walking dead. We are fucking rattling bones. And there is still uh, unbelievably a, a, a fucking little butterfly somewhere in, in, in our cold, dead hands even though there's a rotten little worm uh, in, in, inside the butterfly. And uh, just, uh, we all got to deal with this. But, uh, but, but, but of course, uh, you know, 99% of people have no fucking idea what this shirt means. They have no fucking clue what that, what that, uh, what that line in there, that verse, a bird on a wire means. They probably don't know what the fuck everybody knows means. A tiny, tiny little fraction of people know it. And they, more than anybody else, can appreciate the fucking long stem rose in the box of chocolates. Speaking of box of chocolates, little dog, we've got some, uh, some Edie's triple chocolate brownie, uh, ice cream, uh, to go eat. So, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up and, uh, hopefully celebrate. I, I don't know. I, I might have made $20,000 today. And, and, uh... I, I, I could have told anybody with $40,000 in their pocket where they could go just pick up $20,000 lying on the ground, but now I've run my mouth to a goddamn greedy real estate agent. Anyway, let your little uh, doomer butterfly free while you still can. And this little dog. Bye, guys.